Hi guys, my name is Oscar and I'm the digital director here at Coventry Elim and really glad to just show you our setup today. We're just going to walk through different stations for you uh, and I'm just going to be showing you our visual setup, our camera setup and our streaming setup uh, here at Coventry Elim. Hey guys, I'm Gaz here. I'm the uh, creative director here at Coventry Elim and I'm going to show you the audio side of things. So we're going to talk about our front of house, house audio setup, our broadcast audio setup and I'm also going to show you the lighting rig. So our audio system here is a hill system. Uh, we run um, eight of the M10s and two subs. So the, the, uh, the setup is a line array system. So there's three um, either side uh, in a line array for the main area, floor area. And then there's a delay as well, of just one M10 either side, just to feed the rear sections of our room. Uh, and then all of the audio comes from stage, obviously, uh, via the rack, uh, which is a GX4816, and that runs to an Avantis, Allen and Heath Avantis console at the back. Uh, we're passing audio in both uh, like analog through uh, XLR, DI boxes, stuff like that, and also via Dante, we run a Dante network um, for all of our audio as well. So, so keyboards, tracks, for example, will be going down DVS, Dante virtual sound card, into the rack and into the uh, uh, Avantis and upstairs to broadcast, and then everything else will just feed through the rack and go that way. For monitors, our front line are using the Sennheiser EW300 uh, wireless packs. They're in stereo, but the back line are using the Allen and Heath ME1s, which are really great uh, personal monitors. They allow the guys to mix their own um, monitor mix. They're stereo. They sound really good and super flexible, and it saves loads of time in sound check because they can always cater for their own mix. So now we're going to head to the production suite and look at the Allen and Heath Avantis. So I'm here in the production suite. Um, this room looks after everything that goes on in our physical gatherings our in-person services and this is our uh, desk the Allen and Heath Avantis um, it's a fantastic console um, really high quality audio good uh, selection of effects and dual touch screen which just allows for a real hands-on approach to mixing especially when it comes to like EQing mics and stuff like that so we've been really happy with this uh, sounds great um, really easy to use really easy to train on as well uh, that's our main console the Allen and Heath Avantis so this is our broadcast room. This room looks after everything that happens in our online gathering at a virtual church. So all the video, um, the cameras and the audio, which I'm going to talk you through now. Um, so the setup that we use to mix our broadcast audio is um, a DAW setup. So it's all software mixing, all mixing in the box. We're using uh, Logic at the minute. We've uh, dabbled with Pro Tools a little bit as well just to test it out. But this is our current setup. Um, all the audio gets up here using Dante. So it comes into the computer via da Dante network. And then it also gets sent out to the stream um, to our a to our ATEM uh, using Dante as well. We've got a, uh, one of the Avio adapters that converts it back to an analog signal. And then the monitors come back here so we can see. So we mix everything here in the box, which just we feel just gives us the, the maximum amount of flexibility and independence. We can tweak um, the EQs separately. We can add different effects. Uh, we can completely control the sound and hear it totally dry, completely isolated from the room and create um, a good sound for the people who are participating in church at home uh, or on their phone or tablet. So I'm just going to show you our camera setup uh, and just show you a bit of the angles that we normally get on a Sunday morning. So this is our main camera, it's camera one. Um, all of our camera bodies are Sony A7 III cameras and they are a great camera. They've been around just for about three years now, but they, they serve us really great. We've found that using a DSLR camera just gives us the looks that we want um, for our live stream. So we're using A7Threes all through on the room. This is our main camera, we call it camera one, and it is running a 70 to 200 lens, 2.8 G Master, and it's got optical stabilization built into it and it gives us just the look that we want and sometimes we crop into it sometimes we just we have a quick button here where we crop straight if we wanted to just zoom into the speaker for example or somebody who's leading worship and we want some really close shots uh, we've got all of that set up here and this is our main shot uh, for Sunday. So this is our next camera, it's camera 3. Uh, what we've done, again, it's the same body. What we've done with it is we've rigged it onto, the same, on, onto a tripod and we've put the tripod on some wheels 
and this really helps us out to be able to get some moving shots. So normally what the camera position here is doing is moving and getting like really dynamic shots moving and grabbing like people who are singing on stage. This only happens when we're doing worship. It doesn't move too much when we're doing speaking parts. Um, the lens here, we've got a 2875 Tamron lens and it's just, you know, it's just really easy. It gives us zooms and we don't really mess around with the focus very much. It's got autofocus and it works really well for us and it grabs faces and stuff. This, this camera is good for focusing on people's faces, so it does it really well. So, so yeah, that's the lens we've got, camera we've got. And um, I think this was a really cheap uh, <laughs> tripod that we got off of Amazon. It's called, uh, I think it's a Kava or something like that. Um, and yeah, so that's camera three, that's the position. We've got SDIs coming all the way from upstairs coming up to here and then we've got a converter here with SDI to HDMI uh, going straight into the camera. So this is camera two and we use this for our stage shots, getting all the instruments on stage, getting uh, all our moving shots. Um, we've put a small rig onto it which is really helpful, just really ergonomically helpful just for the person who is shooting on stage. It's got the same 28 to 75 Tamron lens and We'll do movements like that, just trying to get the zooms right. Uh, small rig is really good because we've got that handle on top of it, but also it helps us secure our HDMI cable. So we've got a micro HDMI cable coming out of there. And on the other side, it's a, just a normal big HDMI cable into the converter HDMI to SDI. Uh, but this really helps us to secure that cable, both protecting the port on the camera, but also protecting the cable. So that's. I could literally hold it like that. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's uh, a 7 III with a small rig on top of it and a 28 to 75 Tamron lens. Cool, this is our Pro Presenter rig and it is located in the production room. And this is where all our visuals come from for the room and for online. So everything that is happening in person and online comes out of here in terms of media and lower thirds. So um, the computer that's running it is just a MacBook Pro 2019, I think, and it's got eight gig RAM, and it's just a really good, reliable computer. Um, and we're running Pro Presenter 7 out of it. And what we've got now is we've got three outputs coming out of it. One of them is stage display for the confidence feed for the people on stage. And number two is the lower thirds, and number three is the media. So I'll just show you how we're running that. Um, it's coming out of this computer and it's one Thunderbolt cable coming out of that computer and it goes into a Decklink, Decklink Duo, Blackmagic Decklink Duo card and that is put into a Sonnet Echo Express SC1. You can see that there. And basically that's the chassis and all the graphics processing is, is the heavyweight lifting is on this card. So we've got three SDIs, like I was telling you, that are coming um, into here and going upstairs. And then we've got one Thunderbolt cable, Thunderbolt 3 cable going into the computer. And that's it really for, um, for ProPresenter. So we're back upstairs in the broadcast room and we've got a, I just wanted to show you the connections coming from downstairs. They all come into this switcher here. So the cameras and pro presenter all comes into this. And it's a ATEM 2ME production studio 4K. Um, and all of that goes in there. Uh, we've got SDI cables going into the back. This rack here also has our switch that is running all the network connections for our Dante uh, and doing all the audio bits for that. We also got in this rack our COM system, which is an Altair system. And we've got, um, this is the base station here. We've got four wired uh, headsets, um, control stations, and then we've got three wireless uh, communication points for the cameras and directors. And then, yeah, so that's all the stuff that's coming in the back of this. And then we've got our, um, this is the station where we switch from. This is our switching station. So we've got the ATEM software on, on this Mac here. Uh, but w normally on a Sunday when we're doing production, no, this person doesn't really touch this. All that they're doing is they're using the stream deck here, uh, which is really helpful for us because it has all the different inputs and outputs and they can control the cameras from here. Um, and 
uh, they can go through all the different pages for what they need. And finally, when all of that comes together, it's combined and goes into our encoder here. We've got a hardware encoder that is made by a company called Resi and uh, it's a ray encoder and it's our hardware encoder that combines all of the signal and takes it onto our streams. Um, we can let you know about details on how that works but basically it has a hardwired internet that's coming out of our router straight into this and then it's got the SDI coming out of the back of the switcher going into there and it's all combined as one signal and goes up to Resi. So for our lighting setup we're running a number of different fixtures uh, using two different trusses. We've got a stage truss uh, which has a couple of uh, Chauvet washes on it, a couple of spot intimidator spots as well on it and then we have a main truss which feeds uh, like the front line and just has some profile and some Fresnels uh, and some um, just some uh, LED washes as well for colour. Um, all of the fixtures uh, come into this computer here. We used to run uh, a desk, a hardware option, but we've recently changed to LightKey uh, for the versatility that it offers as a software. It syncs really well with Ableton and it also syncs really well with ProPresenter, so that's how we're utilising it now. Uh, we run all our lighting cues through LightKey and then they're triggered using ProPresenter, which controls our LED wall. It just gives us a really um, smooth transition between different scenes and different looks. So we provide volunteers with like a palette for a Sunday and they can choose uh, a look and it will transition between um, the screen and the lights simultaneously. Um, so you can dip for a song and then you can come in for another scene uh, and it all moves at the same time, light key and pro presenter, really user friendly and a really easy way to get a professional look. Uh, it doesn't take long to program either. So a huge part of our look and stage design here is the LED wall that we use here at the rear of the stage. Um, it's totally modular so you can, if you go down this option, you, you can just buy as many panels as you need and then it can be constructed into any shape really. Uh, one of the huge advantages of this option is that you don't wash it out no matter how much light you throw at it, it will um, always be bright enough, it'll always be vibrant enough. So it allowed us to uh, be really creative with our lighting fixtures without having to worry about washing the screen out. Uh, we use it as a, a, another light really, it's, it's like a landscape. So we don't put lyrics on it, we, we sometimes put video content on it, but most of the time we use it as backgrounds, as moving backgrounds and scenery for uh, worship sets and for the preaching hosting.